Hey guys, still here and welcome back to War Game. Today another scenario, again, peacekeepers, although this time with a small change in the scenario rules relative to the previous time that we did this. The situation is now reversed, I'm now defending with my team, and we have said that Blue 4 cannot have any tanks. The rest of the rules can be found down below in the description. The objective for Red 4 is to take out Blue 4's militia. Militia are posing as civilians, and Red 4, in the form of North Korea, is going to come after them. It'll be up to us, my team, to defend them. Now, the reconnaissance tanks don't actually count as units in the tank tab, so recon tanks are definitely allowed. But since we were defending, we had to come up with some, shall we say, creative strategies, and uh, that can drive even people as good-natured as Gosrith to tears. Uh, at least <laughs> close to it, I suppose. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the battle. As usual, there will be more uh, timestamps down below than usual. This way you can quickly skip from parts of the battle to other parts of the battle that you might find interesting, or parts of the video rather, from this intro directly to the battle, to the setup time, to the post-game discussion. Um, more scenarios are soon to follow. I have another three videos for Wargame lined up for next week with various different scenarios. I really like the way that these breathe new life into the game, at least for me, and uh, the rest of my usual squad seem to enjoy them too. More on this coming up next week, but today first another Peacekeepers scenario. Hope you enjoy. Okay uh, then, we start we it on the right the side, side, sort of. So where are you going to hide all your infantry? Well, the plan, the plan for hiding all of my infantry was here. <laughs> in there? Okay. <laughs> I think that'd Can be hilarious if we could sneak a few in there. Oh my god, look! Can we get here? Sure we can. <gasps> we can very easily secure that as well. <laughs> I suggest we don't put anything... Just to make the challenge fun, we don't put anything out in Charlie, Foxtrot, Go, Bravo, except the transports, like they did. <laughs> and everything yeah. else comes back here. Yeah. We need, we need to think one step ahead, though. We need at least one militia somewhere else, just to keep them... Should we give them off? Shall I give them all of my fobs? What do you mean, give them? <laughs> well, if we're not going to be defending Delta. That's true. Shall I just place four fobs down? If you are, put the fobs on the road. Make them roadblocks. Because <laughs> then they're going to be really annoyed by the time that they start crossing those bridges. Just put one at each bridge. <laughs> <laughs> as much on the road as you can. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's going to block. <laughs> you got to get creative. <laughs> This basically frees up only one bridge. Unless they destroy it. That way they could pass. We're like spa spawn in already, right? We can spawn in in the, the next 10 minutes after the time starts. Okay, got it. And I'd say we just sort of camp Delta. Uh, the forests here. Maybe the how, how the are we feeling here? about this? How about we if we feeling about my fault placement? Beautiful, beautiful. That's going to annoy them. Excellent. That may be we gotta the first get a blend in of um, anti tank units to secure that bridge. Make sure we have recon to support that, and then have a couple of anti air units in case they go for either an anti or an aerial landing or something. Uh, that I'm looks like send, a naval. I'm going to send in my militia first. Mm -hmm. Just to really point out which ones. Yeah, they're good up most good. Um, Joe, which side do we want to... Oh, English. Do, which side do you want to defend? I was hoping I could take... Um, 
with my troops probably golf best. I have some great Volskimjäger, uh, 54 of them. Yeah, sure. If you do that, then I'll defend the area around our, our actual position. sure we get value for our points value for money mm -hmm. yeah because i'm here yeah those units are going to be uh interesting to say the least because they started with the ability to deploy tanks which we no longer have and they also have three actual players <laughs> what you on about <laughs> you know exactly Uh, let's see, some empty air. Have you guys started deploying? Yes, you can You can start. We have eight minutes left before they come. <laughs> and they are going to come pretty aggressively down this road, I think. Can we please not use the term, they're going to come pretty aggressively? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that you can interpret that as is a military way. This is not making it better, is it? <laughs> Best recording session so far today, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to spawn everything in in time. Why are you doing it in a one by one fashion, though? <laughs> well, you that's how the stack animal it. got into the dark. Remember, no quad stacking. Oh, yeah, right. Fair point. I like the little loophole of no tanks, but we can use the M41DK and the M41A1. Do you want me to send all of my um, vehicles back for scouting? Oh my goodness, I have a plan. I've got these little if you're going to send them, you might as well send them here. No, I have I have a bad plan. Don't you worry, mate. That's two. That's three of them with their weapons off. Nikita, if you're listening, but we are recording. Evening. Oh, sorry. You're recording. I only heard that part. That's kind of what it says on the channel. <laughs> oh! Well, I thought you were in the Patreon not the channel. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're free to listen in, but we are recording. Okay, no, I'll, I'll leave just before I meant to do something stupid. I'm sorry for fucking it up. <laughs> Good luck. We're recording. Proceeds to continue talking. <laughs> He's one of the, the very, very few guys who can actually get into this channel. I've got no idea if I've made enough men yet. This is the problem <laughs> with having all the same men. Five minutes left. Your uh, musketers are going to run out of fuel, I'm afraid. Well, then there'll just be a road jam. That's actually not a bad idea. The more you park on this bridge, the more we can blow it up, the more of a blockade we build. 
Oh my goodness, you're a genius. Who are you and what did you do with stealth? Yeah, he left. Okay, that's one, two, three. I got a stack of mortars that can make uh, quick work of those things. Four. Where are you going to park them? Five, six. Actually, you don't even have to destroy them, nor I, because they'll do that, the enemy. Eight. Nine. Right, that's that's my ten. Three minutes. Have you seen this here? <laughs> They're not coming over that bridge anytime soon. I'm gonna blow it up. Actually, no, I might hit the fob. Yeah, you don't want to. Don't want to blow move the, the fob. fob out of the way. No. You got a nice line there, Joe. I think I'm pretty well set up. Yeah. Just down. Make them pay for those inches they want to take on that area. Because they might think that we have some infantry in the, the town over there, where your false commuter are. Some of our infantry, they're the civilians. You think they'll try to flank us on the right through the forest? Mm, they might. I don't really see the benefit for them. They do have access to helicopters to some extent, but you got that covered. Easy. Ninety seconds. This really is a good way for me to have fun with the war game again. I mean, I don't mind the usual games, but stuff like this where you can do blockade and actually call it a tactic. <laughs> Why not? Tactic's a strong word. <laughs> yeah, well... You lot, I need you to pop there. Have fun. To be fair, we're definitely going to be keeping a lot of peace. Look at the peace we're keeping. The only people I'm going to be having killed are the drivers of my trucks. So how do you reckon they'll start? Helicopter rush. Maybe. How many civilians do you have? <laughs> Minstrel. Yes. <laughs> do you have a ballpark? Like, how many did you start with in the deck, and how many do you have now? Uh. Oh, that's a good name for the video, by the way. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good.
I'm already looking forward to the the after chat, the the, the, the post commentary to see <laughs> what they think about the FOB strategy and your most grease all over the place. Do you want to know what the stupid thing? Do you see how many troops I've got? Yeah, you got. A I spent. I I have a lot of troops. Yeah. I spent. <laughs> uh. 300 points on fobs. Hold on, you spent 300 points on fobs? <laughs> yeah. 400, I think. Oh no, sorry, that's Joe's fob on the, the road there. Yeah, they're 75, aren't they, each? Yeah. yeah, so I spent 300 points on fobs, and yet I still have this many troops. Yep. And now we wait. They're smoking up all over that road. I don't know why. Don't they know that we haven't burned up the wall? It's not even that far out of my mortar range. Maybe I should retaliate as a peacekeeping force. I mean, strictly peacekeeping. Yeah, you're not gonna not peacekeep. That would be unpeaceful. Forward deployed peacekeeping force. You know what the best peacekeeping force would be? Because mm -hmm. if we never have to fire a fight because they can't actually get past all of our VIX. <laughs> I would be very amused if that would happen. You don't need tanks nope. when a man can't get past you. Oh, here comes the Meliutka. <laughs> what are they going to do about all of these M6 Mozigris that they're about to see? I don't know. I think they're all going to come bursting out of that smoke screen soon. Yep, oh, here we go. John Mahotus. Oh, you guys are so clustered. Who's so clustered? They are. Look at that. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. You got anything to hit them back with? Yeah, I'm shelling them with a mortar. Well, four mortars to be exact. It's not very peacekeeping of you. Fire support. Yep, they're about to run into the fog. <laughs> oh, you yoked it. Man. Okay. Oh, these poor. Oh, they've captured a fob. <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. And the Milyutka cannot pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a game rat. Oh, no. Nope, they can't pass. Oh, no. Can they? Has anyone got any VIX yet left? I forgot about this bridge. I didn't block this bridge. Yeah, I know about that. Oh, good. But I don't suspect that they're going to get that far. I do have some vehicles that I can put to work there. Don't worry. I appear to have two There are a load of vehicles. Look at this. They really have no clue how to pass that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's not a good idea to be standing there, if I'm being brutally honest. Yeah, but I can't shoot them either, because then they'll pass. <laughs> but I can hit them with the mortars. To some... Well, sort of. They're, tr they're trying to shoot at my bridge across the water. <laughs> Apparently they don't like our tactic. Nope. That's... Oh, they're retreating. Panicked and everything. I like this. Oh, the T-55 got around. Did it go across? No, it's not amphibious. Yeah, they hit 
they've made their way around one fob. You know what, actually, the whole fobs on the road, I think it might even be in line with the scenario. Because <laughs> you would have a fob at Obviously. or near a road. Yeah, you've got to protect the road as a peacekeeper. If anything, I'm role-playing too well. Yes. It's called Checkpoint Charlie. Goodbye, civvies. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're going to come over the bridge now. Where are they? Lord, and what are you... S what's going on here? Joe, are they encountering you at all? No. Oh, should I come in left or stay stay here? Move left a bit. Because we already killed a bunch of them. But I think they're about to cross this bridge. And there's not that much that I can do to counter that. Also, I don't have any NT over here. Crap. Oh, they're getting stuck on the bridge. <laughs> 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 They're just bulldozing those things out of the way now. Oh, temper, temper. Oh, they didn't like that. Nope. What if I push with some of my forces into Alpha? Um, no, don't. We're a peacekeeping force. We're not okay. going too aggressive. You know what they say about peacekeeping. The best way to peacekeep is to push forward. True. Oh, well. The tank's coming down the road. Yeah. They're about to run into the storm engineer. I hope that those guys with the twin, no, 18 AP can do something. They've spotted your large toes, which seems like a strange word name now I say it out loud. <laughs> He's gonna get himself stuck in that forest, running out of fuel. Oh, <laughs> no, they're killing the fobs! That was to be expected. I'm not slowing them down, I'll take it. Wow, calm down with the tanks. and that's the beauty of it. No, they've still got 20 minutes. This thing can still go either way. Uh, if they if they have a go at me later saying that some of my um, militia have their guns on, it's because the ones that have their guns off are just conscientious objectors. <laughs> They are all Quakers. <laughs> yeah. Although you're not you're actually using them as frontline troops, are you? That they're sort of everywhere. Yeah, true. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're on the front line. They're, they're just not not line. on the front line. <laughs> they are the first, the second, and the fourth line of defense. Yep. Where are they going? I don't know. They seem to be awfully interested in refueling. At least they would be at this point. Here comes another cluster. I think technically they've won because they might actually end up killing some of them. Yeah, some. As peacekeepers, do I not have the right to go in and take out this artillery? I think you have the right to counter-battery them. 
Counter battery, sure. Here we go, taking down helos with a tow missile. What? Well, that's what they were designed for, right? Helos. Yeah? Mm hmm. I didn't see any. Must have missed that part. I'm concerned they're going to come in here on the sides. It's what tow stands for, right? To obliterate wooshy helicopters. <laughs> helicopters. Yeah, that's the one. I hope you guys have uh, used all your points because I'm sure we'll lose Delta at some point. I think so. I have 10 points left. Which is going to get me <laughs> one squad of reservists. And one M41A1. Oh. What are these Chonma doing? And what are those Falsham Jaegers doing? I think we've really confused the enemy. Seems that way. I think, oh, the Chalmers are out of fuel. They cannot go anywhere. And are they too far away from the fob? Yes. They ah! need to go between. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just if they could catch that cargo truck that Joe has. Yeah, or they position one of their own cargo units between. That would do it. Oh, here comes some more arty. Is going on? <laughs> oh, their VTT is going somewhere. They might be about to mortar us. That MI2 is going to be testing the waters here. I think it's decided it doesn't like the waters. Yep. Cold feet. Here come the cargo trucks. Hey! Do you think you can snipe them with your mortars? Trying. At this point, I'm not actually sure who is spotting all of those units. It's gotta be the Fulgham Jaeger, right? Or is it my fo false. Is it my. I think it's false your arm Jaeger. unit. Well, what optics are they have? Blow up those zills. Be quick. Oh, they've got very good optics, so... Yeah, their recons, that would explain it. Because I doubt it's the M41A1 that they have on the other side of the river. It's good optics on that, but not that good. Maybe it's this hero of a resupply vic. <laughs> yeah, right. The world's greatest forward observer. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the Chon Mahos have got fuel! Yeah, they come again. I have some infantry, but not much. If they mass tanks into that town, they will probably get it. That's... Nah. We've got this. I believe in us. Mm-hmm. They still have a lot of stuff here that they're not actively using, like the Chon Mahos. Uh, they got some mortars moving about. They got already in the back, probably provided supplies with by one, if not multiple, fobs. They got three CVs. Remember, they lost... if, they, if they run out of fobs, they've also got our fobs. Yeah, it's not that. I'm just counting how many points they've spent. Slash lost. Hmm. Well, most of the Chon Mahos we've seen are Lorden. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of Gosrith. I haven't seen much Architect, unless he's I the... Think he's already... He must be the Arty. But we haven't seen that much Arty. Mm-hmm. I think... What, is it one 
um, rocket troop or is it two rocket troops firing? By the number of incoming shells or rockets, I'd say it's two. So that's 150 points. Yeah. Oh, come on, Lord, and cross that bridge. Go on. Gosworth is not keeping those mortars stationary long enough. Oh. Your mortars have fallen short, though. Yeah, I know. They moved. I can't lock on fast enough. Are they going to smoke this place or shell it? Uh, well, they're over firing wherever what? they're doing. What? Okay. Do they, they think something's on that road? Them? Oh, your shells might There's have it this time. Oh, you've stunned one. Nah, I didn't fire oh. enough. I'm only down to 30... Yeah, 30 shells at this oh, point. Oh, the chom miles are coming. Bring it. No, nah, they're reconsidering, I think. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, there's something in there. One down. Joe, those falsion makers you've got back are giving them hell. Whoa, Joe, don't push into their base too much. If we kill all their CVs accidentally, we win. That's not the right way to play. Has, <laughs> Has Joe died? <laughs> he hasn't spoken for a while. Hey, I'm here. Sorry. My oh. mic was off. So yeah, pulling back. I wasn't trying to get their CVs, just to counter their arty. Right. Yeah, when we say counter battery, it doesn't mean walk your troops in. <laughs> walk up to the battery. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you don't have any of my own arty, so it's all right. <laughs> How shall I counter battery these men? Shall I walk at them? Seems like a plan. They need to gung-ho over this bridge more. Oh, here we go. John Maho's going over the bridge. And are receiving no fire. Yeah, it's because Storm Engineers are just ambushing. Hello. One down. Oh, that the Lord immediately stops. <laughs> uh, no, no thank you. Oh, is he going through the marsh? Because that's also he not can't. Safer. Those little rivers? That's amphibious territory. Come on, boys. Have at it. There sure are a lot of them. That's another one down. Oh. You're down to one man, though. One very scared man. I think so. He's a bit shaken. He is. His Not trousers scared. are brown. They started brown, but I think they're browner. Ah, stop pestering these units. Panzer Skeeter, over to you. Or you? I don't know. How do they talk about it? That's another one. I got Cogist House. Should do something. Yeah, these things have 18 AP. It's plenty to go through the Chonma. At 8 frontal armor. Ooh. Oh, here comes more RP. Once the tanks are dead, I'm gonna counteract or counter their batteries, their, uh, those units, by sending out some transport. Nice. And okay. Jakarta have killed them. For those of you watching the video, yes, the cat is being freaking annoying today. I, I don't think Arty's the way to go in a three-person game, if I'm being brutally honest. It doesn't do True. enough. You're not contributing enough to the team. Look, had... Had he put all of his points into John Mars, he probably could have broken that line then. Sure. Although the Carl Gustav does hit hard against those tanks. Yeah, you managed to get them close up. To, to be honest, they would have been better off take, attacking from this road. Yeah. 
You can still set up ambushes in the forests, but they're a bit easier to clean out. I'm glad that we're not completely rolling over, since these guys have the, uh, let's say, the easier rule set. The more balanced rule set. And in fairness, I have done literally nothing of help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. We might even make that a rule. Minstrel has to do nothing helpful. <laughs> not like that, but sure. <laughs> Oh, are they trying to get through the marsh? The Shilkas can't be. Shilkas cannot be amphibious. <laughs> They're trying to go after the trans. Well, the transports are fighting back. The transports have more than enough armor to take the shells of a Shilka. <laughs> what? Good boy. <laughs> Don't underestimate the 302s. Those things check take if no prisoners. Like one, two. I think they're down to mortars. We've killed 1,400 points. 1,700 points if you count CVs. Let's say 2,000, 2,200 points if you count fobs, or if you count uh, Artie. There's just not that much left. Time to peace keep a little harder. Nah, no, I've not lost any of my guys yet. Good. I've lost two civilians total, it looks like. Oh, no, I've lost four civilians. <laughs> my transports are elite. <laughs> are you chasing them? Yes. The mortars are dead. <laughs> oh, poor lads. Oh. Okay, this is a pretty fun rule set. <laughs> we need to do this rule set on... Uh, no, which one is it? Death Row? We're definitely upset about, just... the, about the FOB placement, but that's just checkpoints. That's standard practice. SOPs. <laughs> I don't think you can yell SOPs at them. I think it's still playing offense. Oh, hi, MI2. How's it going? Not very well. I think they're out of units. Okay. I just scored my first points by killing Good man. that. By killing that MI2. Have we peacekeeped so hard that they're out of units? I think so. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> oh. Should we do a debrief as now? Yeah, I think we should just do a debrief because the next five minutes won't really add anything to the game. <laughs> but it might add to your video. Mm hmm. The debrief would, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll move us back down. Woo! Job done. For some reason, I can't move you. 
fucking too strong. This is my... I'm not too strong. So, what's the problem with the fobs? You can just blow them up. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a... That was placement there. genius moment. That was supremely annoying. That was not a game. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I ask you something? Mm. I spent a hundred and... No, sorry. Three hundred of my points to give you resupply ammunition. And this is how you thank me. <laughs> <laughs> I drove a thing it was like Sparky like leaving a fob out because he's AFK kind of situation. I'm like, oh, okay, they just didn't move it. I get there, I'm like... I literally can't get around this. Yeah, <laughs> and then I see the other fob. I'm like, this was actually deliberate. Oh yeah, <laughs> you didn't you didn't check by the way that on the other side there was two on the other bridges. I saw one in the middle bridge. That one got destroyed. Oh yeah, you killed that one. There was one on the bridge to the right of that as well. I had four no. fobs. Once I saw that, I I, I came close to just like saying surrender, being like, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You can just destroy a fob. <laughs> Well, because by the time I was able to realize it, it was like I'm right in front of it. My troops are now can't back up properly because it wasn't enough space to turn. Uh -huh. So I was like, you, you I, were did stuck. lose quite a few people in that. Joke. Yeah, I was even like, from I, that range, you can just tell your units to front the, the ground fire. Just bring the fob. Imagine would be a total destruction of my forces there. Like they were touching the fob. Yeah, but I wasn't going to mortar it because then I would be opening the roadblock. I'm saying if I try to destroy the fob. No, I don't think point, so. I can get out. No, I, all I can no say thank is, you. <laughs> all I can say is we kept some serious peace. Yes. You, I think the fobs you, contributed most to that game. You killed three, <laughs> you killed three civilians. Really? Not just... three units, and I three don't... civilians. <laughs> well, that's more well, than you did. <laughs> oh, did we not kill any people? No, you no, killed nothing. You didn't scratch them. <laughs> No, and it that's was not true. I saw metal. them in the previous replay. We definitely <laughs> hit one or two of them. Really? Yeah. One of the random Marty strikes. The, the, <laughs> the, the replay for this one is going to be... Uh, I'm looking well... forward to it. Stealth actually turns this into video that you can see exactly how much stuff I had in this. Oh yeah, this is going up well, alright. Just Stealth, <laughs> if you watch this replay... When you see me deploy my units, imagine maniacal cackling and saying, I've never done this before, so I'm going to do it just this once. Oh, well, Yeah, you didn't man. have anything on the front line. Were you full arty? Uh, yeah, I'll, I spent the entirety of my points on one fob, the required command unit, and 11 BM 21s. <laughs> <laughs> and here Minstrel was asking, is that one arty unit or more? <laughs> well, <Ouch>. 11? <laughs> I all 12. I I don't think they're good enough. I honestly, I was saying to Stealth in that, I don't think the RT is good enough. Like, it, had you thrown Chonmars at us, I think we would have broken. Probably. I just, like I said, yeah, it's, I've never done the stereotypical RT spam. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought, was you to, know what? <laughs> yeah, the plan was to break through, like, smoke the main highway, get to your spawn, fight the units that are defending it, Cut off your arty because we were scared of pecans <laughs> in Which general. None were deployed. <laughs> you can see the concern though at that era yeah. in that, those groups. <laughs> and then we were like, okay, then from there, those BM um, 21s can cluster where we assume the troops are in those side towns mm -hmm. or civvies. That was the plan. Which Didn't one of happened? You, which one of you sent in the MI2 near the end? Me. <sighs> Thank you, Gosriff. That was my only points of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, as it's crashing, I'm like, please crash and kill someone. I was so bitter at that point. <laughs> we were also discussing how we could park all of uh, Minstrel's remaining Musgris on a bridge and either blow them up ourselves or have you do it to create another blockade. See, I thought we were playing a game. <laughs> this is a game. <laughs> we, we are. Now I remember why I deleted this game. <laughs> Some of us have different tactics. I love cheese. Master tactics. Oh, I love cheese, but that was. <laughs> I'm going lactose intolerant. I, I think, personally, we should do straight to the. Uh, sorry, not Death Row. One more game on Death Row. Same decks. And we won't blockade with. I <laughs> promise not to place all of my fobs on a road. 
On death row, you could do it, but you wouldn't really get any benefit from it. If you put enough, you could at least potentially block easy access from like a few what, directions. What if I just place them side by side? That's what I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> See, I think of this stuff, I'm like, nah, I shouldn't do that. You take it a step further, sir. <laughs> yep. So that was another scenario, peacekeepers. The way that we deployed the fobs was um, unusual, but it worked out rather well. Of course, the irony being that once Gothrith's forces were trapped on one of the bridges because they couldn't cross past the fob, uh, they couldn't really do much, uh, nor could I with my mortars. I couldn't shoot them, because if I shot them, I destroyed the fob, and with that, the roadblock, allowing them to actually get through. Now, since we have played this scenario, we have amended it and made sure that Blue 4 is going to have a tougher time next time around, as Red 4 will have more income. Red 4 will be allowed to capture more of the zones, and thereby making sure that they get income, so we're not going to be playing it with no income anymore. Uh, Red 4 will get income and thus can slowly but steadily overwhelm Blue 4. Now, I have more scenarios like these on my Discord server in a channel specifically for scenarios, so if you're looking for some new scenarios, some new inspiration, by all means, have a look there. And if you have any scenarios of your own, by uh, well, post them down below in the comment section and we might try yours out at some point. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are down below and I'll see you soon for another video.